we'll sort it out another time. Right then, folks, so we're going to look into Wasteland 3. This is my first foray into any Wasteland game, so I don't quite know what to expect. I know it's like heavy on the role-playing, and it's uh, turn-based tactical combat, which I like the sound of. So let's go and jump right in. I haven't played any of this. I've just loaded up the settings to see uh, what we're looking at here. So we'll see what we go through. Difficulty! There's a naked man crutching his cr crotch thing. <laughs> don't know about that. Uh, we want to go for... We're not a rookie, and we're certainly not a ranger. I am a veteran strategy game player, but I don't know what this game has in store at all. So we're going to go for a Wastelander. Friendly fire off. I think we might change that on. We'll put that on. Friendly fire on. Range attacks made by our squad members will be able to hit other squad members. That sounds fun. Oh, it does not affect... Um, grenades doesn't affect so you can so you can accidentally shoot your own teammate with a shotgun fair enough if they're too close you miss but you can chuck a grenade at their feet and it doesn't that doesn't sound right that, that's got to be wrong I can't believe that's right we will test that out for sure we'll name name one of the characters Indigo and we'll chuck a grenade at them and see what happens normal combat difficulty friendly fire on Let's go with that. Orange is a good colour. Skin is orange on presidents. <laughs> yes, we shall say no more about that. I'm hoping Horizon Zero Dawn will be, will be uh, working a lot better by the time I come to play it. I, it's at a state now where I could actually There's stream it. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then the Rangers heard from a fella calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Oh, that's creepy. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10 4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. It's an ambush. Oh, someone with horns? Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass and Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Whacking the ice with a big metal pole. Hey, Dark Beast. How's it going? This set in post Brexit Britain. What's with the baby heads? Are they mine? <laughs> oh dear. Is this where we enter the game? Or is it it's like game over already before we've even started? That's not good. Yeah. It's been a rough road lately. You're not kidding. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Wow, okay, so, tough crowd, these lot. 
Hardline political satire. Not from me. Oh, yes, I see what you said. I see. I had forgotten I said about the Brexit thing. You get all sorts on the stream. All sorts. Uh, so let's see. This is where we create some young rangers. Lovers and rivals since first joined the rangers. Yuri and Spence's competitiveness drives them to excellence and risky dares. Select this pair. Create custom characters. Uh, I don't want to select this pair. I mean, I kind of do, but let's... Um, it's weird. It's like a heat haze going on in front of them. Uh, let's make some custom characters. This is what we want. Coyote, the bookworm. Uh, Customise Coyote. We can change the name, I, I hope. So what can we do? Um, identification. Oh, yeah. What have we got? Echelon, Carbine, Charade, Psycho. I like the idea of that. Psycho. Might come back to that. Tomcat, Angel, Big, big Mama. Phoenix, Pegasus, Diablo, Jackal, Bones, Aladdin, Razor. Come on, what should, what should we have here? What should we have? Is that pancakes for dinner? Um, I heard something about the new RTX cards, the 30 series ones. They're going to have a very high core count, but I only saw a very brief headline, so I don't know. Which might bring the 20 series down to a, an acceptable cost. What should... Pyro. That is quite appropriate. Quite, quite appropriate for me. Should we go with that? We might go with that. Uh, let's see. Voice, masculine. We're in it now. We can handle this. You started it. We'll finish it. I'm gonna go. Yeah, this is the background bookworm. Background. Pyromaniac, disciple of the metal. Exploder maniac, goat killer. Well, that would be quite <laughs> appropriate for my Witcher three character. <laughs> hey, Wickrack. Yeah, get ready with the hot stuff emotes. We're going to be burnt. I don't know if this You can set stuff on fire in this. I do hope you can. A goat killer. Nobody believes you, but you know what you saw. A giant red goat standing over your mother's body. Freaky golden eyes glittering in the night. Goats aren't normal. Just listen to them. You're going to kill every goat you can. Draw out that monster goat. And this time, you'll be ready. Bleat, bleat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crit chance plus 5%. An exploder maniac. Explosive damage bonus. I see me going with this. I, I really do. What's mana right? Kick ass plus one. Money bags. A mopey poet. Paladin. A raid hate. A sex machine. Stoner, the boss. A vicious avenger. <laughs> Penetration plus two. I think that one should go with the sex machine, surely. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know whether to go with Goat Killer for the crit chance or Exploder Maniac. Let's be honest, you're in the Rangers because you love bombs. If you could join an outfit with access to bigger ordnance, you'd be there. But the Rangers supply you with explosives and targets to blow up, so you can't complain. They also tend to yell a lot, which is good, because you don't hear so well anymore. This is me. Yeah, this this is... This is most Disciple of the Metal. Fire damage bonus. Oh, God. This, this is... This is hard. Hard. Um, the world burned in fire. What was left was the metal across the wasteland. Disciples like yourself were born to carry the song of metal into battle. As the song falls upon them, the metal transforms the wretched and powerful alike into howling furies, be they raider, ranger, master, slave. Fire damage. Do you think we'll get to use fire damage a lot? I hope it's not just incendiary ammunition, because that can be boring. I, I think any of these could go. Which one should I go with, chat? Should I go with the goat killer? Reference to my Witcher 3 playthrough that cost me 20,000 crowns. The Exploder Maniac or the Disciple of the Metal. The others are two just, just far too well behaved, I think. It's got to be one of those three. I'll leave it on explosive damage. I, I, I like a good explosion. I do like a bit of fire as well. You think, hi, oh, hey, Eagle, how's it going? Goat killer. Let's leave it on that for the moment because <laughs> I like the sound. I think that's awesome. Uh, let's leave on that for the moment, and we'll come back to this one. We'll go and uh, we'll go and do hawk whilst we're on. So identification. This is going to be the uh, second character. Uh, let's see. Can I name these? Yes, I can. No sound for three times hot stuff. It's it's probably the bot. That should have played. Oh, hang on. I'm, just, I'm creating the emote there. Sorry, hang on. Let's do it manually then. 
There we go. I don't know. The bot that's supposed to do that is clearly on holiday today. Hasn't come back. I'm doing good, thanks, Eagle. Very good. Yeah, everything is broken today. No, nothing works anymore. There's no point trying to set up systems because they, they just stop working of their own accord. Uh, who wants to be my, my uh, number two character in this? Bear in mind that I'll be playing a goat murdering psychopath, um, a pyromaniac, or a, uh, a, a, a lunatic with lots of bombs. So you might be in for a rough ride. Should we pick ourselves a winner? I think we should pick ourselves a winner. Who should we have? Who should we have? Dark Beast. Right. Dark Beast is going to be my number two. <laughs> uh, let's see. Which would you like to be? Male or female? And while we're choosing that, we'll go and pick a bookworm. So I need a sensible character for, for number two, I'm afraid. So we might go with... What's Manorite? Kick-ass sounds... You grew up in Los Angeles, so you're a kick-ass. Money bag sounds good. We could do with someone who can trade. A raider hater. Bonus bonus damage to humans. I bet there's a lot of killing humans in this game. Um, I don't think a sex machine is quite the character I'm looking at to back up a pyromaniac. <laughs> you just got picked, Dark Beast, as uh, my character number two in this. A vicious avenger. I like these, but I'm going to go with money bags. So you're gonna be you're gonna be my sensible trader. Oh, you weren't following? <laughs> it's too late now. You definitely got Shanghai. Press ganged. Uh, we shall. What do you want to be, male or female? And meanwhile, we shall go back. So then, go back to Pyro. This is where we're gonna change. I'm gonna put my name in here. That was just a thing. It's gotta be. Let's have a look. Uh, I like the rest of it. Goat killer. Appearance. Let's work on appearance. Yes, I'd like a face, please. Uh, beard, none. I don't want a beard. I don't seem to have much choice. Maybe I do. Hair. I'm going to have something completely insane. Should we go with something Mad Max? He's uh... Actually, that's not far off my Corona hairstyle, to be quite fair. King Mullet. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good. We need like an El Elvis sort of hairdo. So this is the ugliest guy I think I could have picked. His hairs are awful, mostly. Mostly. The jock. The hoff. <laughs> we might go with King Mullet. I think we'll go with King Mullet. Uh, let's put a nicer colour on there. Beard, face. Okay. So this this is odd. Now you're going to see how I see myself. Is there three more? Oh, that's better. A few scorch marks. A few burn scars, which could do quite well. Um... I don't know what to expect out of this game. Too many tattoos in this, I think. <laughs> he looks like he had a bit of plastic surgery. He looks, he looks like he's half Klingon. Only half, mind. The bottom half. Uh, let's see. These faces are horrible. Uh, I'm guessing that they're supposed to be. I don't think there's much I can do to, to alter them. We'll go with that. Let's go with that. Mullet and uh, bleeding eyeballs. Yes, I, I think I think we'll go with that. Looks like he's being kicked by a goat. <laughs> uh, beard we've done. Helmet. Oh, skin colour. Let's just go back to skin colour a bit. Oh, wow, that changes the tattoo colour as well. That wasn't... You can be green? Okay. It's a shame you have no control over that tattoo colour, though. I'm going to go with that, because I quite like the red. Uh, let's see. Let's let's get a helmet. Oh, it's got to be. Alright, that's, that's nice, but it completely covers up the entire face, which some of you might think is an improvement. What else have we got? 
We've got Arthur's hat. What would a goat killer wear? That's quite appropriate for the for the, the moment. The sniper mask. That is that is quite creepy looking. Hey Todd, how's it going? What's this game about? Well, I, I have no idea myself. Um, it's it's like a post-apocalyptic sort of. Well, that's, I'm gonna gonna go with that. That looks suitable for a pyromaniac jacket. Covered in bombs. I'm looking more and more like a woman. I know that's supposed to be a mullet, but even so, I look like one of the um, like I look like I come from the rebel base on Hoth, wearing that. I seem to have quite a paunch there, which is also quite realistic. Anything that doesn't look stupid. Uh, I quite like the buzzsaw blades in there. Right, can I change colour? Oh, armour colour. There is an option for armour colour later on. I'm going to go with that. Pants. Some some leather chaps with the buttocks cut out. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. I can see where this character is going now. It reminds me of Mad Max as well. I agree. Uh, especially some of those like uh, the, the hairstyles and everything they, they fit right in. I guess it is supposed to be post-apocalyptic. I'm not sure that the old blue is is quite a good look. Skinny jeans. Can I not um? Not overly keen on some of these. I can't actually see much of the difference because most of it's hidden off the bottom of the screen, which is a shame. Can't seem to zoom in or out. Uh, should we go with the funny chaps then? I'm going to go with that. I can't quite tell, but I quite like that leg holster. So armor. There we go. Green. I don't know. Is there any reds? There's no reds. Why is there no reds? Oh, I see, because it doesn't, doesn't, it's not top half and bottom half, it's main colour and off colour. So there is a red, it doesn't look like red on there. It looks a bit... Green just, just ain't really me. That's, that's, that's supposed to be, that's green? That's supposed to be a yellow. Let's put uh, that as like a grey and that as like a... a or about no colour. No, that's just default. I don't know, I ain't so keen on that. But physique, this is where we go. Build. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think I'm playing as a... I think that's supposed to be a kid. <laughs> like, I don't know whether that's... Uh, supposed to look like that or whether it's um, a glitch it was not quite what I expected okay I think I like jacked let's go with jacked you can't tell under that coat and stature average this is height right huge gigantic average average jacked. What does that say? Compact. I am so tempted to play at that. And player number two might be, I think. Assless chaps. Assless chaps and goat fur. Actually, I quite like the idea of that one, you know. Let's go back. Let's go back. Full on. Full on. <laughs> I don't like some of these. I don't know if that's what I had. That looks pretty... I don't... The all red it just doesn't work. Oh, I suppose we'll get some new gear fairly soon anyway. Let's have a look at the assless chaps again, now that we can actually see. There we go. All right, we're going to go with the assless chaps and, and that. It's quite, quite unusual. Now then, let's have a decent portrait. If I go back and create the cowboy hat thing. Not that this matters. This is just so we can, we can ID me. Um, I guess that's almost as close. <laughs> that would be highly appropriate. Uh, 
this is one of the most fun character creations I think I've come across in a little while. Was that a code? Two is your code. I'm a hitman. Oh, Dark Beast. We'll see. We'll see what we create for Dark Beast. I'm going to create Dark Beast as a compact character. It's, it's got to be done. It's just got to be done. I wonder if that makes them easier to hide. Uh, let's see. I'm spending way too much time over just picking a simple thing. What should be a simple thing. I might go and redo the hair because it looks a bit... Uh... <laughs> Not that the rest looks any, any less sensible. Um... I'll go with that one. He's got he's got goggles on, kind of. You can't tell if there's a beard there or not. Let's go back to that armor color. Color number two. Does that change the trousers? I'm gonna go with proper. Pretty. That's red. That does not look like the color that matches up to that at all. Neither does that. I'm gonna have to go with something different here because it looks. It looks completely different to what I'm I'm expecting. Ah, there we go. Black. Brown and black. There. That at least looks respectable. I don't know what I've made the chaps out of, but we'll go with that. Let's quickly go and redo the hair. So it matches up with the jacket now. There. That's better. <laughs> We're going with that. Right. Thank now let's make sure that saves. Meanwhile, Dark Beast. We'll go with... Um, you, are, you are male, is that right? I think you're male. Do let me know. Let's let's change that over. Uh, recruit. Shoot! They saw us! Shoot! You started... Here comes the... Uh-oh. They have us at a disadvantage. Educated. Is... They see us. They see us. You want a brawl? Knock yourselves out. I'm going Enemies for... Are... They see us. I'm going to go for this, and I'm going to set you as a compact. Or maybe, maybe I should set you, yeah, make you a female, but with a masculine voice and compact. Background money bags, that's what we want. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go with that. So I'm going to go female. Uh, let's see, face. Do these look better than the... What the hell? Okay, I think they're slightly better choice. Slightly better choice. <laughs> Ooh, that looks kind of evil. Just some sort of disfigurements. No, no, no. These, these are weird. Who came up with these? I mean, I don't know if these are anything like the uh, the first game. Or the second game, or whatever. Let's just have some sort of normality, I think. That looks... Uh, no, not that one. There we go. Not that we're going to see much of you, because you're going to be of rather slender stature. That's pretty good. We'll go with that. Hair. See, that's the King Mullet. It definitely looks... The Jock. <laughs> How come these weren't available for the males? So we're going to go for someone who's three foot tall, but with really spiky hair. I like the idea of that. What have we got here? Oh, that's got some attitude. I like that one. Not so much that one. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got a Tina Turner going on. Oh, that's cool. That's the one, I think. We're getting into cute realms there. We don't want to go too far down the cute realms. Let's go with that one. I like that. I like that. The porcupine. Hair color um, blue. We can have green hair. Why would we want green hair? Purple. Give you a purple rinse. Let's go with purple. Right then. Physique is further down. We'll get to that. Uh, I don't think we want a helmet. I think we want to show off the hair. I think we definitely want to show off the hair. We'll go with that. The jacket. It's 
some of these look absolutely awful. Oh, hang on. That looks very wintry. Let's go with that one. Pants. The assless chaps, again. Not on a six-year-old girl, no, definitely not. I can't quite tell. Was that which, which was the one that had the holster on that I liked? Oh, I've got that one. That looks that looks semi-sensible. Right, armor colour. I don't know. We are getting into the, the realms of having too much choice here. I don't want I want that to I don't want it to, to like clash with the hair. Yeah, I know, a female in a video game without bikini armor. <laughs> They've not adhered to the uh, to the video game stereotype at all. Tut tut. This game won't sell at all. We could have green, we could have a bit of orange in there. Um, I, I dare say that this outfit's going to change pretty quickly. What about black? That looks better. Okay, let's go with... Something dark, I think, looks good. Ah, let's go with that. I quite like that. Right then, was this the one? Yep. <laughs> I can't get over that. It's the, look at the difference. It's not just child, adult. It can't be. It, it just can't be. It's it's like five foot ten, because that's average. That's a bit tall for a female. Probably about five seven to two foot tall. That's like sixty centimeters. But it's what we're going with. So, oh, gigantic. Can we get smaller? <laughs> we're going with that. <laughs> Sorry, dark beast. But I'm sure it'll make you a far less tempting target. What options do we have for the portrait? Do we have anyone with purple hair? We do, actually. Looks purplish, but there's a helmet on there. There's the clown, again. Ah, there is purple hair with a helmet. Okay, we might go with that one. It's not quite, but I think that's as close as we're going to get. Right, then. So, did I... <laughs> Look at the difference! Oh, I'm going to regret that. I'm going to so regret doing this. Uh, did I do... Back, oh, I did the, did the background, didn't I? A goat killer and money bags. Well, let's finish off Dark Beast here. So, starting weapon. You're going to start off with... You're going to be... Well, you're going to be the, the trader, but also... You're not going to be a brawler with stuff like that. A heavy weapon. Well, that's clearly going to be me. Um, I can make you a sniper. Stay out of the, the way. Snipe. <laughs> or I can make you a melee specialist as well, which would look utterly ridiculous. Semi-auto pistol. Why would you choose one of those? I'm going to quickly build your strike meter. They're a terrific choice. They don't sound powerful enough. I think I'll put assault rifle on there because it just seems like a good all-round weapon. Attributes. Okay. Right then. This is... Uh, intelligence is going to be good for bartering. Is this right? Gain one skill point every two intelligence. Okay. This sounds like a good idea. We've got seven points. Is there a point where we get extra? No. So we want this to be an even number. So we want it to be at least that. Charisma. Oh, I bet this is a strike rate, leadership range, experience bonus. Speed. What have we got? A few points. I don't know where to go with these yet. Awareness. Hit chance perception. Well, we'll just boost a little bit of this. Luck is always good. Coordination. Action points. Oh, action points. Okay. Um, you will want charisma, surely. Surely you'll want that for bartering. I'm going to put a point into that. You feel like a shotgun midget from Borderlands, but instead of Borderlands, you came from Rage 2. Uh, I haven't played Rage 2. I haven't played much of Borderlands, actually, for that matter. Skills. We have a lot of skills here. Combat skills. Is this what you start in? We've got only got five points. All right. So you're going to be my seller. I'm a modding nerd, st nerd stuff. Using hack computers. You could be the nerd of the group. Toaster repair.
It's very specific. It is a very specific skill.